Hey everyone, this is Rocky from We Learn Chess. Forever and a day since my last recording. And uh, do I remember how to play chess at all? That's a good question. Let's find out. Just logged into Lee Chess here. I used to always love playing on chess.com and then I, I let my diamond membership slip. I just wasn't paying attention. And I guess I'll let it go for now since I'm not playing as much. But uh, certainly it was really cool to have that. I guess I'll get it again someday. So he wants a little place for his bishop. I freaking hate this opening. Um, so I guess eventually he puts pawns on c6 and e6. Maybe that makes this bishop useless. I don't know. Maybe I should play for like queenside castling? He's created a weakness here on the king side. So bishop here, maybe he can hit it with the knight. And I don't know if I want to stick it in front of the pawn. So if I'm thinking of castling long, I want to be able to, to move these guys. So maybe that means that bishop e3 is a more appropriate square. It also gives maybe a knight jump here to, to hit this. Although, well, I don't really want my knight there, I guess, huh? I don't know if I should single signal my intention right away because he didn't castle yet. The check, he just plays c6 anyway and it gives him a tempo and moves his pawns closer to storming. Maybe getting this knight to the king side somehow. Yeah, he could take and take my queen and play some stupid endgame. Knight here. He just drops the bishop back, but uh, that does get it out of the way of the pawn. All right, I'm going <coughs> to, excuse me, I have this really annoying cough. So I'm going to telegraph my intention to play, and he is being annoying. That is annoying. Does he have something like a knight move here? Maybe I can get a tempo on that bishop. I don't know if he has some kind of tactic already. I mean, I guess he can play the knight in. Wow. He's not castled there yet, and I guess maybe he won't now. He can just play the knight. He doesn't have to necessarily do anything with it. But then maybe bishop takes, takes. Maybe he's faster on the on the G file with this rook, but he's he's got a little bit of development lagging here. Maybe queen here actually. It's a common move. Knight here, kind of typical stuff. Hmm. So I I wanted to pin this knight. I mean I uh, knight takes two. It's the bishop, but I would rather... The pin seems more annoying. Maybe he even has to drop back. I don't know. He can't get rid of the... Oh, uh, maybe he can just play... Yeah, that makes sense. He's got to develop a piece anyway. If I can get him to take this, and this square could be kind of juicy. Let's see what happens here. Oh, i got to be careful about some kind of... He might be able to jump anyway. I was going to say, he. my queen's on a square where he, he might be able to do that. Okay, so just maybe here, just solidify that. It gives more light squares, though. And also, if this square ever is weak, that's really annoying. Even maybe here. But I can move that. It's not pinned right now. I should probably castle. All right, so he wants to castle long, too. I would love to get on this diagonal right away, but he can block that. I guess I should probably castle. I gotta watch this guy. Yeah, I wanna... Well, he doesn't have a dark... Yes, he does have a dark square fish. What am I talking about? Okay, so this guy, I gotta remember him. Because he could become annoying later.
So should I take this guy? He takes here. If I take here, he has to play intermezzo here, right? Then takes here. Yeah, I think that should be okay. So he takes here. Do I have some kind of... He's hitting my queen, so i got to take it. Okay, so I'm going to... Hitting this guy. I'm hitting this with a fork. I don't think there's any way to, uh, to stop the fork, actually. Hopefully this audio is okay on the stream. I, I guess if it's not, I won't upload it. Mm, this is kind of annoying. But uh, I guess I have to take this, right? Take this material. It's a pawn and an exchange. Is there some kind of trick? He still has this annoying bishop, but if he ever pushes here, I just go here, I guess. All right, his king is in the middle of nowhere, so queen check. Improves the queen. That's got to be right. It does push his king back into safety, though. <sighs> Knight here was kind of interesting, too. Knight here, maybe over to here, or hitting this. Um, I was a little... I mean, was it over? I don't know. My tactics are really, really bad right now. Yeah, I was just going to say D4, of course. <laughs> People who play uh, the Scandi play this kind of stuff. London system, the worst kind of boring. Try to mix it up with, uh, with this um, <laughs> this old chess explained line that this is basically the extent of my knowledge. There is one little trick with a uh, bishop move, yeah. So am I not supposed to take the queen and I'm not supposed to take the pawn I never really understood that like if I take the pawn then he just brings it back into the center so I haven't I haven't gained a central pawn for an outside passer that makes sense I guess I should put something in the middle is that wrong does he just take this knight or something? Takes, 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 takes. Okay. I don't know. Oh, yeah, he probably should take the knight and get my rook off the A file, I guess. I'm gonna I'm gonna take away that opportunity because I wanna play knight here at some point and get rid of that bishop. We both have two bishops. Taking the pawn doesn't do anything except screw up my pawn structure, so question is knight here or knight here. If I want to put it on c6, because I feel like I don't know, somehow he might be able to dance around in here. Although if he's here, whoops, if he's on uh, d7, then it's a little easier to support this break, but how am I really going to do that? I don't think I can too easily. I don't have to castle anymore, I guess. I'm not too worried about that. If he wants to give up a bishop for no reason, I could even play here. Here, I guess that doesn't do anything. I don't have to play this right now, do I? About here right away. Go here, here, takes, takes. He can go here, actually. That's kind of annoying. Actually, he can do that now. Can he? I don't want to block off my bishop. I guess I always have rook here. I mean, what am I talking about? <laughs> you can tell that I'm a total idiot here. I really don't want to play king here to stop this. I guess I have knight back here if necessary. That's not really the move I want to play. You could go in for it immediately. This blocks off my bishop for a while. It's actually, actually really annoying. takes here and he takes here. Whoops, and he takes with this pawn. I get a check, but I don't really see what that does. Any knight here, he just he can come right in, and then I can't defend that. I think I might have to try to just trade this guy off. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah, he plays here with check. Whew. That's rough. 
check. I have to play like king here and give up this pawn. King here. I have a pawn here. Although, giving a pawn is not really the end of the world. I mean, taking it, if he takes with the bishop, I guess I have to, huh? Takes with the pawn, I don't care because it cuts off his bishop. Yes, yeah, so that makes sense. Coming over here, it allows him in here, although I do technically have this. What else am I doing here? I don't know if I want to commit the rook to here because he just meets it with this, and I don't know if I really have anything. I should get out of this pin because it's blocking my bishop. It's freezing my knight. <sighs> rook here so I can move the knight. Mm, he's got to develop too, but this is... Uh, <laughs> This is uh, pretty unfortunate. I guess at least I can do this. Well, no, I can actually, because then he comes in here. I mean, okay, losing one of the double pawns is maybe not the worst thing, but. Okay, now that allows me to move this F knight that I could not move before. If I move it here, he can come in here, though, so maybe it does not allow me to. So maybe I can prepare this um, this e5 push with f6. The knight defends this pawn. Gives a little bit here. I guess he's got two moves to go here, but uh, it takes me two moves to do this because I have to assume that he takes this at any given point. And I feel like if I can get e5 in, then at least I'm not suffocating. But maybe this pawn will be a problem. f6, e5, takes, takes. Mm, could, could be a problem. And he does have the bishops, too, crisscrossing across the board here. I mean, I, I definitely feel like what I did is wrong uh, <laughs> already. Okay, so I have the opportunity of kicking that bishop. Where does it go? If I do that, maybe here. I could take this, but I don't see why I would do that. So here, maybe I don't really have a discovery. And then, then my coordination is all silly. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to go ahead with this plan here and try to neutralize this. He sees that, so and I got to I got to do something with this guy. So, do I have to maybe I can go here. Maybe rook here first then here. I didn't really want to do this. And I have this vision of my my rook maybe getting trapped. Okay, I, have, I don't have the two bishops, so I'm considering pushing this up, but then I've got all this stuff on light squares, and my bishop is even worse than it already is. Taking? Taking might make sense, actually. I didn't, usually don't want to open up the board here, but okay, I guess he takes toward the center. Can I push this pawn now, actually? Oh, I don't want to take because I yeah, push this pawn takes here. I can't take here because of the fork. I gotta get this guy out of the way. Oh, now actually I can do this, right? Can I do this now? I gotta be careful about these ideas. He's got this F file now. It still feels like I'm tactically vulnerable here. Uh, so if he takes here, I guess I take with this knight to free him up, to free up my bishop. So maybe here. This is a weakness for him. 
So let's let's get our pieces developed at least. Uh, I solved that problem. Um, the rook is kind of misplaced. Can I? I can't really go across anywhere. Can I do this? That's, that feels wrong. Do I really want to trade this rook? It's not doing anything, and his is. He'll still get the F file, I guess. Uh, I'm on a dark square, but well, whatever. I can't be on a dark or a light square and, and feel totally safe. Here, I don't really think I have any good squares. Actually, they might be totally covered. I don't think I want to go from one bad square to another. So can I do anything with this? OK, this guy was defending this square, so now this feels a little risky. What's he going to do here? can drop back here. He has to give up his bishop. My rook's out of play. Should I just drop back? Maybe that's... Well, he's, he's actually threatening to win it, huh? Okay, I'm gonna do this. It screws up my pawns. <laughs> my rook is really retarded. But it does keep this guy backward. Can I play here and actually make sense out of my rook? Hmm. Or maybe get the knight here, but wow, that's going to be... That's probably not going to be possible. I got two and a half minutes. He's got more than double because his position was good and mine sucked. <laughs> so, But if I can get him to play a defensive move... Yeah. Do I just let him do this? But here, takes, takes, and then rook here maybe, but then rook here... Here, takes, takes, with not with check. I don't like the activity. This also feels wrong. I wanna I wanna play this and get him to play some defensive move here. I'm actually kind of happy if the knight's over here. I mean, assuming he doesn't have anything right away. He's got this actually. But this move defends and uh, attacks at the same time and uh, yeah, probably he should do something active like hit this um, he wants to play that check here bishop check and then I go here I don't know I feel like it should be something let's get this guy out of here because he's taking away some squares from my bishop. Hmm. Okay. Can I suddenly... He's going to hit this guy, isn't he? Okay, I have here. This is, uh, yeah, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna win that. It's kind of annoying. I might, and I didn't even check to see if there's some kind of tactic. What about bishop here? Just to cut that off. I do that. Ah, oh no, he doesn't have that. Okay. <laughs> but probably he has something. He can get the knight back and play here. But I can potentially do something with my knight, but man. Okay, how about here with the king, knight here? I know he can take it. But then my king's really active. Shouldn't I be able to hold that somehow? Uh, takes, oh, actually, tactic. Takes here, takes here, check. Winning the knight. And if I don't take it, my bishop's hanging. Uh, or maybe here. Okay, wait. Knight here. I lose a pawn. Here. Oh, then he takes, takes, and this is hanging anyway. And, uh... Oh, and actually, this is... It's defending that square. Uh, but I do get this pawn at least, I guess. Yeah, become active. I should get off this square. I should do this, I guess. So now the... Now the knight's not hanging. And the pawn's not hanging either. I like the eternal pressure that I have here. 
Okay, if he takes that, obviously, I guess I don't have a choice. <sighs> Minute and a half, he's still got more than double. So is there some kind of, there's no sacrifices there. There's no way to like create a pass pawn there because my pawns are so terrible. So what am I doing with this knight if he doesn't take it? Here, here? No, I mean, the knight here would be kind of nice, but I, I like having the pressure here, so. And I, I don't think it really does anything there, right? Maybe. I can't go here. Can't really go here, could go here. Back into here, that takes ages, and I don't even see what it does. Okay, so he's trying to win my rook? No. I feel like I should be able to trap that knight or something. Alright, so I don't want to go back here and give him the tactic again. Let's take some space. I don't think I'm, I'm missing anything. I'll pre-move that again. I'm kind of wondering if he just didn't know what to do. Okay, this... This gives me a potential outpost here. He could always take it off, I guess. Potentially this. Again, this is weak, but I just can't. I don't have any squares. Here? Okay, how do I get here? Okay, let's do something here. I'm just kind of going back to the same squares. So here, 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 <laughs> and then here. He's still covering the pawn. It's like five moves. It's just so dumb. Maybe I should just go back and forth and just kind of ask him if he's got any plan. Actually, maybe there's some way for him to double up here. Maybe I shouldn't have let, opened up the diagonal there. This prevents his knight from coming back in. Wait a second. Can I walk over here? Can I trap the knight? Huh. Wait a second now. Is there a way for him to hit this? I don't know. I'm not I'm not calculating it because I don't have enough time. And uh, I stink at calculating anyway. Where's his knight going? Here? Can't go here? The knight dominated by a knight. I don't know. I guess I've probably seen that, but uh, this looks really funny. He could take this pawn, and then he has a passer. That's really annoying. But now I can take with the king. Yeah. And here... I guess I gotta take with the knight, huh? This is on a dark square, and he can play here, but I've got check coming here. Just forking everything. I still got this blockade. His rook is defensive. I think I'm suddenly winning. Um, <laughs> I don't deserve to. I mean, I feel like... Well, I played... I don't know. Maybe I played okay after the opening, but the opening was definitely wrong. He can't play king here. So he can't move the rook over here. If he moves it here, he loses this pawn with check. This is not good. Maybe king here. I can still fork these pieces. <coughs> And then the rook can't even go to f2 because the knight's got it. So I think my rook is coming here. I think my knight's coming here anyway, and I want to keep some pressure on the, on the clock. He can't get this yet. He might go back here with the idea of just activating, which uh, at least an active plan. But again, I'm getting this with check. Yeah, it's, that looks pretty bad. So um, let's take a look and see. I mean, that man. Um, I'm hoping that I didn't really. Yeah, the evaluation's huge right here, and it's. Sh I'm sure that it wasn't like you know, until he trapped his knight. Yeah, I mean, it definitely even up to here, it felt like he was better, and he was probably better the entire game. And I mean, better like plus one is like. If your opponent finds the right moves, I mean, you're usually going to get just get slowly grinded down. Uh, once it gets up to like one and a half, that's bad. Yeah, here, that's kind of nice. Um, where, where's he going after this, though? Let's see. My instinct would be to go here, but I guess that's wrong, huh? 
yeah, that, that does that. And then my king is so far out. And then I've got these dark squares, these dark squares. Like, just let's just see, for example. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, this is coming. Now, there's no way to defend those pawns, so maybe even could try to push that, but okay. If I take this, then it, it kind of relieves that. Like, and anyway, he's he's getting uh, connected back. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Oh, so the idea was to try to get him to get off that diagonal, but of course he's not going to do that. And now his rook is free. And uh, he's winning this pawn connected passers, so that's over. So, I mean, in the opening, I mean, something, I did something wrong here. And this is, uh, so I'm supposed to take that. I, I thought I remember some, <laughs> some of the International Master YouTube commentators saying that you're not supposed to take, like neither side's supposed to take it. I guess the open A file didn't really amount to much. <coughs> However, um, that looks pretty bad, doesn't it? Hmm. Pinning that, I was going to go D5 right away, but... Castling, huh? Queenless middle game. All right, so I guess probably this is all theory. I just, who the heck knows, right? Uh, I don't watch enough of John Bartholomew anymore to, to know how to play uh, these kind of like slowish openings. I haven't been watching much of the YouTube channels lately. I, I started watching Greg Shahade again and um, I I much prefer his playing style. Like I, I know like John is like a, he's got a smiley face. He's got a good attitude. I really like uh, you know John's personality, and of course he's just an awesome all around player. But it's just not my kind of chess. Like to play all that slowish stuff. So I guess if you like that positional stuff, then it's uh, then it's perfect for you. But I like I like Greg's style of play. I mean he tries to he tries to attack. Um, and I think it seems like from watching them that he's probably stronger than King's Crusher. Um, but I should watch more of King's Crusher too. And uh, I used to watch some of Talbarone's channel, but he's, he plays only like Bullet and Ultra Bullet now, which I'm not really interested in watching. So anyway, this I feel like this is a... I mean, this at least like makes White Slave difficult. Um, he wants to like... He wants to do anything but this, I think. Like, this has got to be the most annoying line for White. If I were a London system player, I would imagine. So what is he supposed to do? He's supposed to do this and just go into a worse position? I don't know. How, the, how is that right? I mean... So, okay, anyway. Now I know. I'll remember that next time. So I guess that's why he gladly took this. And, uh, yeah, I have to say... This pawn structure was incredibly annoying for the entire game. I mean, what do I do with this bishop? And of course, I wanted to try to play e5, like if I could in one fell swoop, you know, something like this and this. But you can never really get the bishop here uh, in in time. And I tried to do it with it. I'm sure that what I did was wrong. So let's let's see what happens here. So I guess he's kind of seen this stuff before, so yeah, <laughs> that looks really ridiculous, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, okay, maybe at least putting the bishop here at least frees up the knight. And, uh, you know, maybe I should just play really slow castles, and even though it's queenless, I didn't want to get my king so far away from the center, but in light of how the game went, where I just really didn't, my, my pieces were all on top of each other, is a good example of how the space advantage in the center can... Um, really make it difficult for your opponent because um, technically I have two pawns to his one pawn in the center, but um, my pieces they just don't really have squares. So um, like where my knights want to go, he's got them all covered. So so obviously uh, this was not great. That made sense. I kind of had to do that. Yeah, here I wasn't really sure. There's probably not 
Like if he goes here, I was thinking this. Does that not work? Wow, yeah, I mean, I don't know if, if the opponent necessarily finds this or a backwards move. <coughs> Let's say he does something normal like this. It's still a good advantage. At some point, I was considering this just to, because he's got these annoying bishops. But then, I mean, you look at this, and uh, this bishop is just never going anywhere, like ever. So that's, I think if you do that, you're just basically saying, I'm just going to try to sit here and hope nothing bad happens to me. So, okay, I guess that would have forced a concession. Still. And, yeah, maybe, I didn't really think about this, I have to admit that. But maybe this idea. That's kind of cool. At least, I, at least I get one good piece. And then, you know, maybe the bishop can slide around. It takes a few moves. That's really annoying. But because the position's so closed, I might have a few moves. So that's not a... Okay, so I, I made some mistakes here, obviously. This is definitely not how to play this opening, as we've seen. And, um, okay, at least this was active. And opening the position for his two bishops was probably really dumb. I have to admit this. Um, yeah, I was always sort of wondering... Like, why doesn't he play this? I I guess he was... Like, I don't, I don't even know if I take this, right? I mean, that... I'm not taking that, right? Okay, first of all, he's, he's hitting that. And even if I could take that... I mean, what is going on with my pawns here? So, yeah, I have to move the rook. And I, I think I probably would have seen that, let's see, in the game. Although I didn't see it here. But, yeah, I mean... Yeah, let's say, so here, and then where can I put this? Oh, this feels really... Okay, that I don't mind so much, I guess. <laughs> wow. He's hitting this. Yeah, so this is this is the tactical problem. Okay, I didn't see that. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's definitely winning here. I mean, I felt like I was losing, but I just didn't quite see why, so... And I did... I feel like the good thing about this is I feel like I had the right feelings. Like, okay, my rook is on an awkward square. B4 could be a problem at some point. There were a couple points where I realized I was going to drop this knight if I moved it. So that what that should have signaled to me, and it didn't because I'm feeble-minded, is that I should get, I should get some support to one of these knights or get the knight out of there. Um, and yeah, he has this tactic. So okay, I keep giving the tactic over and over. So that's why the evaluation's like that. And now, yeah, I, I mean now, uh, yeah, now that now I, he doesn't have this because I can just take this. Or actually, he still does, right? He still does because he can still do this. But I'm getting pawn. Yeah, see, now I'm getting pawns. Oops, obviously that. Uh, that's going to be really tricky, though. But, um, okay, so he can get rid of his weakness here. And, uh, yeah, this, I guess, is trying to. Yeah, so I don't know. This, this queenside pawn mass, that could be annoying. I don't know if I'll really be able to keep this. So it's going to be basically, it's not such a mass. It's going to be essentially two pawns. But this third one could, because it could support one of the pawns, might make it a little bit more annoying to win them. So, okay, that's kind of, that's a cool little sacrifice there. That's something, at least you know what you're playing for is black. Like, you basically have to get those pawns going. Okay, so, again, over and over, just giving him a tactic. He still has it. Yeah. Yeah, what is my knight doing anyway here, right? It's not going here. Whoops. It's not going here. It's not going here. It's not going here. It doesn't want to go backwards. Well, the computer does now just to get rid of this. Um, I mean, I considered this idea, but I just don't really see, you know. I would rather actually have the knight on this square because I'm hitting this and he can never really move it. Except for maybe if his rook is here. But, I mean, I'm four moves away from there and I don't even think that's, is that even possible? I'd have to be here, so I'd have to push this pawn. I'd have to make like five moves to get it there. That's never happening. So, um, yeah, this, why, I, I discarded this because, why? I mean, I wasn't looking necessarily at this. It just felt like, uh, I felt like I was worse and I didn't want to get rid of all the pieces. I think that was my thinking, so. Um, but of course all this feels wrong too. But now this at least it makes him... He probably should have done something more active. 
yeah, here. And he's winning this pawn. I lost that anyway. I don't know. One point. See, this to me feels like the computer evaluation is 1.1, but how the hell is he breaking through here with this, huh? Like, what, if I take this, the idea is that he's getting active or something. Okay, wins that. Yeah, so. All right, but still, I don't know. Like, what is he doing if I go here, which is where I would have gone? Say he doesn't lose his knight. And let's say he finds this check, so what, what's going on here? Let's say he doesn't lose his knight. Peter still wants to do this. I, that's really hard to find those kinds of moves. But I was looking for a square for the knight. I mean, I don't know. <coughs> yeah, hitting this square and precisely, precisely at the moment where I can't leave the defense of my knight, that's really nice. And I can't go here. The computer wants to do it anyway, doesn't Oh, yeah, I can go here. I always forget that this pawn's... Defend it. I'm kind of looking at it for some reason like opposite because my rook's so awkwardly placed. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if this was going to, I just felt like this, I believe the computer that he's better. Of course, because the computer knows how to play chess and, and I don't. But this does not feel easy. You know, it doesn't feel easy to convert that. So, okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. Like, considering what were where I was and yeah at some point here so yeah this I, I should have found a better plan for this night I never really did but getting here and another thing that I didn't really think of so I always kind of thought like okay this pawn is weak because it's by itself but what I didn't think of is you know another thing that happens when you have an all isolated pawn is that the squares around it become weak so now like because there's nothing um, so there's nothing really protecting some of these light squares. Okay, the king's protecting this in the pawn, but this square is, is weak, and I should have thought about that. So they say that when you have an isolated pawn, the square in front of it is usually really weak, and that's why. And I should have seen immediately that that's where my knight had to go, because um, it's a weak square, it's a good block blockading square for the knight, it's on a light square, so it can't easily be traded, at least not by the bishop kind of maintaining a little pressure. So if I get the knight there, that's good. And it took me way too long to, to find a plan for this knight. Um, and all of a sudden I'm winning here. Yeah, I mean, I think this, uh, I, <laughs> I saw that. Um, this is interesting. I, I didn't see any reason to give him a passer. Is there something wrong with this? Not really. Yeah, I just, yeah, and, and this is coming no matter what. And yeah, you, you know you're in trouble if, the recommended move is to give the rook, although, yeah, this is coming. That's a little annoying. Like, maybe I should play here so that I can sack that, but take that with check first, obviously. Like, if he just tries to hit this, just allowed, I guess. Like, a human player is just going to take that, so let's see. He's got this passer, but yeah, he's, even if I have to give the bishop back, I'm going to have... Especially if I win this pawn, I'm going to have two connected passers. And let's say, for example, he wants to hold on to this, but yeah, this is now this is now a big problem. And actually, right away, it's a problem. Yeah, he just, at some point, he just has to take it. I can take this anytime I want, so. Uh, even if you have to give it the bishop, it doesn't matter, obviously. And, uh, okay, so... I don't know. That wasn't a terrible game. Um, it was a terrible opening play by myself. So I learned a lesson there. <coughs> um, and I didn't look at the first game, but that was a really long analysis. So maybe I shouldn't. But uh, let's see. Where's this games? And uh, I guess I won't look through this myself just because I'm beat. I was actually trying to think during those games. So let's see what the, the computer says here. And uh, 
of this first game. And oh, I meant to run them both at the same time, let's see. And uh, yeah, I like this, learn from your mistakes, this is pretty cool. So, uh, can I not do two at once? Is that the problem? Oh, okay. Yeah, look at all these inaccuracies and mistakes. This this happens to me a lot. Like this, Well, then again, in tactical games, I just outright blunder. <laughs> Positional games, I like make a lot of inaccuracies till I'm in a bad position, and then I blunder. But, uh, yeah, like all these inaccuracies... Maybe because the, the lines are less forcing, so you really have to try to find the most precise moves, which, of course, I'm not doing. And some of the more, like, I don't want to say stronger openings, but sort of the more decisive moves in the openings make you, maybe they kind of force you to know the lines, so you're not making inaccuracies right in the opening. So let's see... Oh yeah, maybe I really can run to it at the same time. I feel like it keeps shutting off. So this actually... Okay, no blunders. That's really amazing. Um, and not a not a terrible game for my opponent, considering like our level. I mean, it would be a bad game for a really high-level player. Let's see what happened. Was this the, uh, the Scandi game? I might be able to hear my dogs. They're kind of rolling around and stuff. It's like 2 a.m. Um, so I'm doing pretty good so far. I don't know how far through it is. Is, it, is this where it is? 14? Uh, it'd be really cool if I played two good games after after a while. I, I do sign on occasionally and I should have tried to record those too because I, I got crushed in some games. I played some okay games too, like mixed in there. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I felt like this was was a a decent couple games. And it's still running. And I don't know where it is. Okay, it's all the way down here. Was that move? That was only 21 moves that game? And did I. I only had one inaccuracy and one mistake. That's really cool. So let's let's see here. <laughs> Does the computer really want you to play D4 on move one? Maybe that's why so many people play it now. Or it feels like so many people play it. I don't know what I'm doing, by the way, with this. Yeah, I feel like. Uh, I did see some. There's some cool little tactic with like something like this. And you can get like a. Uh, there's some like fun move like oh whoops sorry I think maybe here I don't like this is kind of scanning players make those moves so <coughs> like let's just say here like there's some kind of cool like little tactic here that doesn't work because because of this knight move but something like like if this knight isn't here how's it go and there's queen moves too, oh, but this is protected. But let's just say he does something kind of normal. You have this fun sacrifice here. And you can take this because this pawn is bent. But uh, yeah, I guess he has to be really cooperative for that to happen. I, I have gotten that a couple times on the board, but um, not with his necessarily exact moves, but it is something that can happen. Huh. Here right away. Yeah, I, I want to play something aggressive against the Scandi. I mean, I know everybody loves John Bartholomew, so they love the Scandi. I love you too, John. But I hate the Scandi. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I hate the... Like, I think I hate it because you're always taught, like, not to move your king out. You not to move your queen too early, and you do, and you get away with it in the Scandi. It just seems, it seems wrong. And the, the Queen D8 retreat Scandi is like... It's like an extra, like, rub the salt and kind of thing. Like, you're telling your opponent, like, um, I'm breaking chess principles by moving my queen early, and then I'm going to break it again by undeve undeveloping the piece and moving the queen again. And somehow, 
it's still solid for black. But I have to believe that black has to play really accurately to avoid problems. So there's, I really want to look and see, like, how do you pressure? You know, how do you how do you pressure uh, black? I just feel like he's. They're gonna play these like standard moves. Yeah, <laughs> I said this in the game. I I was thinking about this just to hit this uh, bishop, but then I was like, what the what the heck is my? Okay, that's interesting. But what is my knight doing here? Kind of blocking my central pawns. Like, where is it really gonna go? Like, let's just say he makes the standard kind of moves here. Well, let's say he does like he did in the game. <laughs> yeah, I think you, you want that pawn there first so that when you play here, um, it's harder for him to, to deal with that. Like, he's going to have to open a line. <sighs> yeah, okay. I mean, I I can dig it. This definitely feels like some sort of vulnerability. I guess we'd have to go really far to see what the computer's thinking with that, like where it's going to go. It is a knight in the center, though, right? And it's not like my D-pawn really has to move anytime soon, or at all. So, okay, so anyway. So let's see what happened in the game here. Obviously, I didn't do anything totally terrible. Yeah, I took that. Yeah, he gets that tempo on the bishop. That's kind of annoying. Where are we here? Yeah, so in both games I found a little tactic. I mean, my tactics are really rusty. And I found the correct move here. And is this where he resigned already? So what is the uh, what is the issue here? Let's see. I mean, okay, I saw this obviously, but I didn't I don't know, I was more thinking about what can I do with this knight. I'd love to kind of, I guess moving it here, there's really no support. I mean, it wants to come in here. But I mean, just kind of keeping an eye on these pieces is really nice because then the knight's tied down to here. He's got weaknesses all over the place. And this bishop that was in the beginning looking so menacing, maybe he can push the pawn down and try to open pry open this diagonal and he's got the queen here and the bishop here that could be that could be something I, mean, I can always put my extra rook there I'm playing with an extra rook right so uh, and I can just keep this knight parked here until one day this moves and go here so yeah that, that's really annoying so I guess I could see why he resigned what about here so just hit the backward pawn yeah I mean he's not uh if he has to do something like this, I don't know. And then he loses that. Yeah, maybe there's no way to defend this, actually. And, uh, yeah, I would want to leave Queen. So this, this is a good point where, like, you have a really big advantage. And I bet if I take this pawn, it'll be, like, 1.8 or something crazy like that. Oh, no, okay. I was going to say because... Oh, the reason why is because I have the exchange, too. I was just... I forgot about that. But I wanted to say that like sometimes if you cash in too early, they say where like you, you get a pawn, but you lose all of your initiative. I mean, this is hanging, this is weak. Like why why let him get active, right? He doesn't deserve it. <laughs> Plus his king's out in the open, so uh, he didn't play that. So wow, I played two good chess games. <laughs> I'm definitely uploading this. Uh, and then I'll have, to, I'll have to remember to record next time so that I'm sure I won't be able to string this together. And we'll uh, analyze a loss, maybe learn something from that. Uh, of course, I'll try to win them all, right? This was a long video. I will uh, head out and uh, catch you guys later. Have a nice weekend.